Hey guys, how's it going, Electron Man? Well, we got a different one today. We're gonna do a how-to video on how to uh, clone an M2 drive. Um, I found a little item that helps out on that, and uh, I really like the product, but boy, was it a pain to get going. And I'm gonna save you, and this is gonna be a quick little shortcut of that. Um, I already made one video and it was too much of me fumbling around and looking at manuals and looking online to try to get the answer so we're gonna make this one quick and sweet and to the point of how to use this product it's called a cuss a cuss a c a s i s a cuss anyway um, here's the box that comes in kind of plain box a c a s i s a cuss uh, probably butchering that and inside the box you have uh which this is outside the box inside the box this is all that's included in it is you got a power adapter you got the cloning device you got the owner's manual which is junk and uh you have a usb c type connector if you want to connect a computer because you can also use it to read m2s as well but the main reason i bought this was is because i can do m2 clones offline don't have to even have a computer uh doesn't have to be connected to nothing just put the, the drives inside of here and go rocking so uh anyway let me go ahead and get you started on like i said we want to make this short and sweet and i'll tell you all the caveats about it okay first thing is you these two buttons right here they look like right here oh, right here i don't know if you can see it or not that's a button you got to squeeze those two to open the cabinets you know, squeeze them both on both sides to get them open. Once you get them open, it'll come with these two little silicone type of uh, what they are is they're actually a heat transfer uh, silicone piece. And uh, that is going to go on the back of your M2 drive. In fact, hold on a second. Let me get an M2. Okay, here I got an M2 drive. And uh, like I said, you want to just take the silicone here and we want to just lay it on the back of it. This is just to help transfer heat. And it does matter. I tried doing one without it and it actually overheated. Uh, it might not all, all the time. I guess it depends on the speed of the drive and everything. But I suggest you go ahead and stick them on there. It comes with them. They're reusable. So now that I got that stuck on the back of it, now I go in here. And if you look at just slots that's in there. It just slots in there like that. With you. You just take it at an angle and just slide it in, and you'll, you'll know it's seated in there. And then, oops, I should have, let me go ahead and pull it out. Um, it's got this little silicone stopper here. This is to hold it in, and uh, these come out, and that's why you got the different holes, because it supports different size drives. So anyway, back to this. We just take this, and you just kind of put it in at an angle. It's a little harder for me, because I'm trying to do it where you can see it, but typically I just throw them in there. But like that, slides right in there. Now that I got it in there, all I do is I take this little stopper and I use it to hold the M2 down. You can see the hole and you just take this little stopper here, which is not the most convenient thing in the world for big fingers like me. Anyway, you just stick it in there and that just holds the drive in place so that it doesn't flop out. And then uh, you close it. And then you just rinse and repeat and do the same on the other side unfortunately maybe i'll go back to some stock video i had for my first video but anyway you just put a second drive in here once you put your two drives in put the silicone on it same way mount it in there any of the different size just pull this out and then put it whichever hole it needs to go to hold it in go ahead and close your lid That's how you here. put the drive in another thing really important enough that i should have probably even mentioned before is you've got a b slot and you've got an a slot it doesn't tell you in the manual which A and B. It refers to everything as the source drive and the target drive, which is fine other than you need to you know, know which one's which, which one's source, A or B. Well, anyway, I did the research, and I've already cloned a couple drives, so I know now A is always your source, which it should say source instead of A, and B is always your target drive, And uh, which I actually put this on the B side because I do have a uh, drive I'm going to... Um, clone it's just uh, i don't have it out yet so i'm kind of why well, i put this in a b i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in here because as soon as i can get that other pc in here and pull the uh, drive out i'm gonna clone it and do the rest of it but anyway um that's you got let's re-specify you've got a target 
You got source drive on A, target on B. Th that's the way you want to go. Doesn't tell you the manual. I'm saving you a bunch of time right there in research. And once you get that done, then you just close both the lids. And once you have your drives in there, then you just plug it in. And weirdly enough, it seems like it's got a mind of its own. One time I plug it in, it comes up powered up. The next time I plug it in like this time, it doesn't come powered up. Either way, first thing you want to do is power it up. So I went ahead and turned the power on. And it's going to detect that I've got a, uh, a target drive, which I told you. That's the one I showed you in there. If you have your source drive in there too, those both will light up. Now then, this is a big, big deal that doesn't tell the instructions. Right now, there's no fan running, and I promise you, you're either going to get your, your clone's going to go super slow because the drives are going to get hot, or it's going to overheat and fail. You need to push the power button again. Once you push the power button again, you'll hear, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the fan is running now, which I don't know why it doesn't just have it to where when you power it up, the fan comes on, but for whatever reason, you need to make sure and push power again and have the fan running, or like I said, your SSDs are going to overheat. After you get this done, I mean, we're, we're two-thirds of the way done now. Hopefully, this video's short and sweet for you. The next thing you're going to do is you got your power button. Right above that is your clone button. You're going to hold that clone button down. And when you do, all four of these are going to light up. When they light up, just go ahead and let go of the clone. And then what's going to happen is these four lights are going to start blinking. And they're all going to just be blinking. And as it does the clone the 25% will turn solid, basically telling you that 25% of the drive has been cloned, and the other three will blink. Then it'll go to 50%, telling you 50% of the drive is, is cloned, and then only these two will be blinking, and then it'll go to 75, and then only the one, the 100% will blinking. And then once the 100% is done blinking, and they're all solidly lit, you're done. That's it. End of story. Then just unplug it, take your drives out, put your new clone drive in your PC and it should work as easy as pie it did for me once I figured all that out hopefully my little tips helped you out because I promise you I've got a couple hours of research to get that down and I got it down to you in about five minutes so I've saved you some time if you check this video out anyway as always this is Electron Man hopefully this little tip helped you out and uh, you know how to use this uh, Asias, or however you pronounce it, um, cloning drive, this offline cloning, M2 offline cloning drive. And as always, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and have a great day.